Hi folks, my name is Matthew Harrison. I'm a scientist at the Tasmanian Institute of Agriculture. Here we're going to look at how to create a new cultivar or genotype in Atrium Next Generation. What I've done here is I've just opened up the wheat example from the default uh, Apsim examples folder. So to do that you hit home, open an example, go to your C, Program Files, Apsim Next Generation Examples folder, double click on the wheat folder or you can op open up a comparable file, that's whatever's, whatever's appropriate for your study. Uh, and then you open it up, then you save it, wheat cultivar example or an appropriate name to your own directory. Apsim won't run in the program files directory so you'll get an error. Just make sure it runs, always good practice. Uh, it's usually an iterative process, you get an error, try to work out what that error is from, fix the error, rerun, you might get another error due to another bug, so just keep iteratively fixing it in that way. Open up your simulation, you can see the simulation tree, clock, field, so on and so forth. What do I want to do? I want to add a new cultivar. Where are the cultivars? They're actually implicit to this plant module. So right click, go add model, open up PMF which stands for plant modeling framework, double click on cultivar, you see this little arrow appears, there's your new cultivar, rename new cultivar, now you might say, well, how do I change the parameters? To know what parameters to change, we right click again, go show model structure. And you can see that your new cultivar actually disappeared there. So at the end, we're actually going to, well, here's a just added folder. So this is a new one, but it's it, there's a bunch of different parameters in here. And it's, I encourage you to just have a look at these parameters and compare look at these different cultivars and compare the parameters that differ between them and so you can see that they're not they're not actually changing a large number of parameters differences between cultivars so most most cultivars are structurally and in terms of growth quite similar and there's only a few parameters that are quite different fundamentally and and most often it's phenology parameters so it's different vernalization sensitivity or photo period sensitivity or minimum leaf number for example uh, and so you might say, well, how do I know what parameter to change? Well, it comes from this value up here. So you can see that phenology in square brackets is coming from this phenology component. And then it's got vern sensitivity, which is vernalization sensitivity, then fixed value, and it's describing the value. So if you wanted to work out what parameter to alter, you might go, okay, I'm looking at phenology. And then as soon as you hit full stop, this IntelliSense function brings up the variables that you can potentially alter. Different symbols mean different things. Uh, this may, usually means it's a double function or this, this descriptor here usually means it's a function of something but it also tells you what type it is here so this one this vernalization sensitivity is a constant. Double click on that one there, hit enter again uh, and it gives you the option so it's really that's a really a fixed value so you can it's saying it's getting the value uh, and if we put that in there, we're going to put in the same line of code twice, so we won't do that. Uh, but that just gives you an example how you can modify phenology parameters. So I encourage you to have a detailed look at that. The other thing, if you don't know what it is, is to open it up, click on the memo. And, and really, for each of these, it should have a memo or a descriptor of how, uh, a basic description of what the individual components do. Each of these symbols also means something different. So C means a constant f of x means a function, x means it's multiplying the children below it, and so on. Uh, so now what we want to do is we might just copy uh, one of these um, examples. So let's say photo period sensitivity. Let's say we've got a, a new cultivar uh, with a new photo period sensitivity. It might also have vernalization sensitivity. We go, we click on wheat. We go right click, we go add model, again as we did before, double click on cultivar, it should add down the bottom, it did. We rename new cultivar, then we, okay, so it's saying I don't, I don't want to change that, so we might enter it manually, so we go phenology. Uh, now, We've got a number of different parameters in here, so you might have to think carefully about which phenology parameter you need to alter. So it's it's quite good how they've got the description there and the and the type that they are. Uh, now, 
some of the common ones that you might want to alter are photo period sensitivity and vernalization sensitivity. So let's go photo period sensitivity. Uh, we want fixed value. Uh, and we might say, for example, it has a fixed value of 2. Now we just say, OK, to get AppSim to sow that, we go sowing rule. It's going to sow Hartog, which is a default variety. We want it to sow our new variety. So you change the sowing rule there to new cultivar. And you can see that my existing cultivar is in there. I've actually lost where it is, but that's fine. Uh, in, uh, in a perfect scenario, you should go back and delete that one out of there. But just for the sake of demonstration, put that one in. Let's just see if it's going to work. Right click, run AppSim. Seems to be running OK. And so there you go. We've created our new cultivar. There's obviously a lot of parameters in there. So probably the, the best way to understand it is look carefully through the, the structure of the plant framework, determine what parameter you want to modify, and then work from there. The The best way to do it is to look what parameters are, are, are already adjusted in terms of the existing cultivars, so we have cultivars from all over. So that's all I wanted to say, but thanks for watching. Cheers.